Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Um, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I wake up early, get my day started early, and then leave the house late. I'm not late, but I'm like, okay. I'm not late, but it's like I wanted to give myself an extra five minute cushion. At least I don't have that. I'm gonna get there right on time. I just, I don't understand what I be doing. It's very muggy outside. My car says 72 degrees. Mind you, yesterday it was in the 40s and 50s and the low was supposed to be like 40 or something like that. And it rained all day yesterday. I was reading that sign. And um, I just stepped in some mud trying to avoid a stupid cat. But it's okay, whatever. I'm just like, oh, because you're scared of a cat, you just have to go walk through this and you knew it was going to be muddy. What's up, y'all? I'm tired. Not tired, I'm just weak. I'm about to go to the food court and make bad decisions because there's nothing good here. I was gonna try to not eat until I went home. I don't know, I think it's, I got like an hour and a half left and my phone is dead. I just feel so weak. Some, uh, you know those little miniature pancakes? I ate some of those. But clearly that wasn't enough. Anywho, off of work, had one client, um, which I knew because they text me and I put it in. Even though when I looked this morning, it was on somebody else's books and I was like, I know I didn't do that. Anywho, I'm about to go to my cousin's house. I never show y'all when I go to my cousin's house because I don't know if they really want to be on the video. I mean, she knows I be recording, but still. Um, And I'm about to go. She's sandwiched in between two streets um and i'm gonna get to the one street before i get to the next street so i'm gonna see if i can get to her house with no gps assistance if not i'm gonna just get lost and look down so it's some hours later i'm leaving my cousin house i'll be over there yapping too much um and honestly the only reason i'm leaving now is because i need to go to the store before they close they close in an hour I kind of sort of know what I want to buy, but not really. <clears throat> so, which I don't have to get everything today. But I do got to get something to eat for tomorrow at least because, I mean, it's 10 o'clock. I doubt. I was going to make lasagna. I doubt I cook tonight. I was going to make nacho too. I might still make those. I don't know. But anyways, I'm on my way to the stuff. Parking lot looking nice and empty. So hopefully, that means ain't nobody up in here. Where did that person just come from? Dang. I don't like to turn in at an odd angle. Anywho. Um, I think I already said this, but I like to shop at night. I don't like people. Dang, I can't go down that way. So, I like to shop when ain't nobody gonna be around. It just be too much. I just cannot do a lot of people. This is before all of this shut down. I might just have to give me something for the night because the pickings is already looking slim. What? How many people they at least got the pasta? I'd be liking. 
Yeah, they got that. I want to eat nachos. And I was going to do fake meat with them. Which I still might do that. Let me go on over to the broccoli. Oh, it's cold up in here, y'all. It's cold outside. It went from being kind of hot and humid when I left to being freezing. Like when I left, this lady was like, oh my God, it's so cold now. I'm like, girl, I know. I was trying to get something else because I eat broccoli every day. I'm like, let me get me something else that I like that I can snack on. I was like, oh, let me get a cucumber. This says zucchini. I don't even. When it comes to produce, I ain't your girl. I don't know how to pick one out. What's it? I don't. I don't know. Where is the food? No, but really, where's the food? Everything empty. Oh my god, are we in a food shortage and I'm not paying attention? And even got no spinach. I'm probably making spinach lasagna. Hold on, I gotta go back. So I saw one bag of oops. I saw one bag of spinach and I might have to get that. No, it's mixed spinach and kale. Right. It's cool, let's move on. See what we can do. Okay. Now I don't eat these, but what a food at? I am very much confused. Let me hurry up and go. All I got in here is the onion. I just bought the onion too. Dang the broccoli, some cheese, some eggs. I bought the sour cream raw and I've had it a while. And I just don't be liking how it tastes. I'm just going I'm really bad about balls. Oh, balls are good when I'm trying to travel. Really bad about dates. If anything's past the date, I'm not buying it. Um, my fridge is always empty, by the way. I wouldn't even know how to fill up the fridge. Like, what am I buying? So we got orange juice. I only bought orange juice for my smoothies, but they ain't have no spinach, so I got this kind of juice. I usually like berry punch, but they didn't have that, so I like the fruit punch too. I got some sharp cheddar cheese, but I couldn't use that a lot. New one of these. You already know. I mean, clearly. I got some ricotta cheese for when I made lasagna. Olives. New onion. Put that to the back. Biscuits. And y'all, those eggs been in there since. I want to say. I want to say. Those eggs been in there since Thanksgiving. Let them be freezing in here. They actually have my salmon this time. Y'all got the good salmon. I make my nacho cheese with this. Unless I'm getting um, cheese that already come. But this and salsa is the best cheese, like I swear. See, I'm just put the rest of this stuff up. Welcome, wait, not welcome. It's too, wait, it's Monday. Child, once again, first of all, okay. I don't know if I'm feeling my wig because I have twists underneath and my twists are not as flat as they could be. 
Hold on, hold on. Anywho, um, I'm on my way to work. Once again, I'm gonna have nothing but time and opportunity and still find a way to be late. I think I don't realize how quick 10 minutes go by because I set my alarm to be completely ready to go 30 minutes before I have to be at work. And then next thing you know, I look at the clock and the whole 10, 15 minutes have passed. Now I'm just like, now all the time I have is the exact time it takes to get there. And to me, that's late. <laughs> so it's just like, Especially when you do hair, you want to be set up and ready. Also, because I'm clocking in, I can't clock in more than five minutes. But still, I'm just like, what do you be doing? I'd be like, okay, like I got an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And then next thing you know, I'm trying to do 10 things at one time and then I just lose track of time. Ciao, anywho. All right, you guys, I have 10 minutes to get out of here. I'm just not finishing my client. Oh, excuse me, I'm just not finishing my client. Job. oh wait, let me grab all of this. I hate leaving with hot tools. I use my stove iron. So I gotta take that while it's hot. Y'all can't even see me. But I'm rushed out here again. But it just be like that because I got to be done by the time the store closes, which they close in 10 minutes. But sometimes I'll take an appointment if I know I'm going to be done before 7. But the, everybody else left. They already closed. Pause because I need Carmex. Lips is ashy. Oh, not the Carmex melt and then squeeze it onto the flow. Okay. It's not cold out there. But I just did this girl here that I actually went to high school with. I didn't even know she lived out here. But it was nice seeing her. Okay, let me see. Was it not that hot? I had to put my flat irons in a towel. I'm falling on the floor. They keep talking on the PA. I'm sure they're saying we bought the clothes, Paul. First of all, how many times do I have to push a video? Second of all, I um, why is that lady coming back that work here? She was such in a, a quick hurry to close down the shop. Uh, anywho, I need to flatten my base because my wig is not sitting how I want it to sit. Child, pay attention. I know I'm supposed to go to the store today, but I don't feel like going, so I'm probably not gonna go. I'm gonna figure out whatever I bought yesterday and try to find me some dinner for today. I need to make some. I need spinach. Anytime I make my smoothies, I gotta have spinach. I don't like just fruit and juice alone. Um, side note, I got these harachis, right? And I get kid size. I can, I think kids go up to a seven. I think I got these in a six and a half in kids and they just be hurting. First of all, they be squeezing my little fat feet. And then it's like my toenails be too. <laughs> now granted, I do like a, nice square shaped big toe why do i keep getting in the car not locking it down i'm slipping what anywho but i just feel like they 
bitch, it's too long because my feet keep hurting. So my feet hurt so bad just from standing up for two hours. Well, I stand up, I hardly ever sit down while I'm there, but um, doing that one little client, my feet hurt so bad. But it's good. I just love doing hair. I just wanna do hair all day. And that's why you gotta use the GPS even if you know where you're going because I went to my cousin's house I think yesterday and it took me like 30 minutes and I'm like why the hell did it take me so long and then when she was asking me where I was coming from excuse me she asked me did I get on the freeway and I was like no was I supposed to apparently the freeway is close to here somewhere and that's how you get to her house faster I'm like child I didn't even know that that was an option I literally thought because of where she lives by me y'all see what I be talking about because I'm not driving. You're right, I was not driving. Anywho, um, because of where she lives from me, I'm thinking, oh, I just simply go, like I'm going home, but keep going. No, I went the long way. So basically it's a lot of stuff that I have to do on my website. So I have to go through each section change the names of each section um, I have to put in links um, like right here I'm putting in the link for the booking site so um, that's just what I'm doing updating the pictures trying to figure out how I want the covers of each section to look and putting links where they need to be changing colors where they need to be um, adding logos where they need to be and just giving my website a new look everyone I am off an hour early because like I've said before certain people <laughs> that's been there way longer than me when it gets down to the last 30 minutes or an hour they're ready to go because it's boring and you can't really do no service in 30 minutes or an hour so they just be like all right locking up the registers leave it you can stay if you want and it's like why would I stay 
get my hours, but just sit there in a, a locked up salon that you can't do nothing with. You can't take no purchases. You can't do nothing. So I just leave. But the salon manager that did say that it's okay sometimes to leave early. I don't know about an hour. But this particular lady, she always leaves an hour. I'm going to order me a little thing to hold this phone. Because the fact that I still don't have one is ridiculous. <laughs> It's like, anywho, um, so yeah, I left early. I'm annoyed because I don't like when people have an issue concerning me and don't bring it to my attention first because one, I'm grown. We grown. So if you have an issue with Madame Blue, you need to bring it to Madame Blue's attention first and then we go from there. So, there's one issue, which I didn't even know if it was an issue. I, myself, was going to talk to the manager the next business day, which was yesterday. But before I can even bring it to her attention, I asked her about something else. And then she asked me about it. And I'm like... Now, I don't know if this person called in and complained. Or if the receptionist was just like, this was an issue we had and took it straight to the store manager. If that was the case. I don't really know the procedure. So it's like, and it wasn't even a real issue. It was somebody wanted a discount when the coupon clearly said for new clients only. And since this was their second time coming to me, they were not a new client. Um, so I'm like, I don't know if it'll work. I scanned it and it went through, but I'm like, you're not a new client. So, so I was just like, no, that's for new clients. So, but I was, when, when I, child, I'm not even, me personally, let me pay attention real quick because they breaking on this person's butt with nowhere to go. Me personally, if I feel like I didn't handle something right or I did something wrong, it bothers me. It stays on my mind. So that's why I was going to talk to the manager about it because I'm like, I don't know if that's the right way to handle it. What's the procedure? Because for me personally, um, I always honor discounts. But you got to tell me, like, you can't just be like, oh, can I use this? What? Because Style City used to do that. It would offer, like, a discount that I didn't know nothing about. And I would tell people, one, my website say I don't have no current promotions. But because you thought you were paying this, I will honor this. But my website clearly states I don't got no promotions. So I still honor the price that people were told. But anywho, I was going to ask the manager about it because I wasn't sure if that was the right way. And then um, if it was going to be something where she can get a discount next time or something, then I was going to, you know, suggest that, which is ended up what happened. But the fact that I... It was brought to the manager's attention before I could even bring it to the attention. And I don't think the customer called back in. I don't think so. So it's just very much annoying that somebody else went to management about something that had nothing to do with them. If that's the case, I don't know. But that's annoying me. Two, the next day. This happened yesterday. Today's a brand new day. Me, personally, I don't like having no issues with me. Because all I do is what I'm supposed to do. I mind my business. I say to myself. And I do what I'm supposed to do. So there's no issue. So when there are issues, I'm just like, especially back to back, I'm like, child. This is why I'm struggling so much to hold this. I had it on the charger, which only reaches so far. Can I put this right here? So, <laughs> child. Then, wait, can y'all hear the heat too much then? Then, um, I had another client call me, I think it was either this week or I just be doing dumb stuff. <laughs> it was either this week or last week. Child, my arm is hurting trying to hold that. Um, I can't remember. And she was asking me what I did to her hair and I told her and she's like, oh, I didn't want that. And I didn't know that you were doing that. First of all, when it comes to chemical services, I'm very much thorough. Very much. 
um, because I don't play around when it comes to chemicals. Called and she asked me that, and she was like, "I was trying to see when you were working again to get my next treatment." And then I come in today. They talking about some somebody sent a letter to corporate. get the rest of my stuff that was not at Walmart and hopefully they got something here so I'm finally home got broccoli bread from my lasagna and I have ravioli this was actually good last time so I got that I got regular bread. I don't know. I just feel like I need to keep bread just in case I'm poor and have nothing to eat but peanut butter and jelly. Y'all almost forgot this. This is the main thing. Please ignore that. It's, this is the main thing I went for. And I went in the aisle looking for bread and saw this. I would have been so mad if I came home and forgot that. I decided to try this. I've seen it a couple times. I decided to try it because they had a coupon for $2 off. So then I was just like, oh, they got a coupon. Might as well. And then I also decided to try this. I don't know if it's supposed to be healthy. But it's goat cheese and portobello. I've had goat cheese on a pizza before. And I like mushrooms. So I'm like, it might be good. Spinach, of course. And then cookies that I shouldn't be getting. Bonjour everyone, today is Thursday. I thought today was Friday this whole time. Um, I just washed my hair, as you can see. I put these pins in it to flatten the top. So hopefully when I wear the wig that I want to wear, my top is as flat as possible. Um, I just dried it with the diffuser. So hopefully, I mean, it'll be okay. Some of it's still wet, but it's okay. So yeah, I'm not doing nothing today. The rest of the week, from yesterday to the rest of the week, um, I just work from home and I work from the afternoon to the evening, so really not much I can do. I did wake up today and meditate and pray, which is great because I need to do that every time I wake up, but I just be like, I'm tired. So I didn't wake up too early today. Um, so when I did wake up, I was somewhat refreshed, but I got out of work in less than an hour. And yes, I'm giving myself these filters because I have only these twists and... Anywho, um, I really thought today was Friday, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta go to this place, I gotta go to that place, and I'm like, fam, it's only Thursday, like, you're rushing life right now, just relax. Um, I was on the phone with my bank for, like, an hour and a half, probably two hours, low-key. Um, the first part of the conversation upset me, and made me want to close my entire accounts. Um, the second conversation was very helpful to me i'm very appreciative of that person so i will not be closing my entire accounts because i was about to close all of them like i already don't really like this bank but i've been with them for a very long time so yeah i'm hungry i've not eaten anything all day except um some pieces of broccoli per usual and i did some social media posting and i need to order my business cards today Although, I got an email that they have up to 40% off business cards, but the business cards I already created um, that I put in my cart are not eligible for the discount. So I go back through the prompts, and they basically want me to upgrade what I already did 
to pay the same price. So I like the type of discounts where I can get more cards for the price of one, like a thousand cards for the price of 500. But no, when I went back on there and chose the exact same cards I already have, it was a discount for different finishings. And I'm like, whatever. So I need to order my business cards like this week. I absolutely have to, cause I have about 20 left and I, that's not enough. Um, I think that's all I got to say today. Now with the business cards, I was trying to decide if I just wanted to keep the QR code um, for the image or put another image. And I didn't like any of the images, so I just kept the QR code. Hello everyone. It is Friday, I believe. It's hot. Well, it's 70 something. Uh, dang, somebody put something on my car. And it just rolled down with the window. Um, it's 70 something. And uh, I'm about to go to the store. I got a few hours before I have to go to work, so I'm kind of forcing myself to get out of the house. I don't want to lose this premier parking spot. Can y'all believe it? I'd rather stay in the house than lose my parking spot. When, if it gets full, I have to park like six spaces down, which ain't nothing. I can still see my car. Um, I can still hear my car. I always chirp my car and make sure ain't nothing happening. <laughs> There's a ball over there that I thought was an overgrown mushroom because it looks like one of the mushrooms in Mario. And I was like, but that's a, a game. Anywho, I'm about to go to the store. I need to go to Walmart. Oh, pause. I got to put this on my list before I forget. So, anywho, I forgot what I was saying. But um, to force myself to get out of the house, I'm going to the store today. I also need to wash my car inside and out. But I think I'm going to do that tomorrow or Sunday. But I need to get some household stuff and then some french fries. And whatever else I put on my list. But I need mostly household stuff. Um, so, I'm going to do that. And I want to see if this food truck that's up the street is open. Um... Because I know a lot of food trucks, well, I don't know. But the ones in Arizona, at least, will usually open during the evenings. So I'll see if this one is here. I just noticed it randomly one day. So we shall see. And if it is, I'm going to stop there because they got tacos. I like tacos. So, yeah, that's it. You can tell I ain't been outside. The sun is like, what's happening? Okay, sorry, y'all got the air kind of hot because it's hot up in here. Um, make sure these doors lock. So... Let's see. That ice cream truck I'm going to come back to because some days ice cream be my friend and some days it don't. But I, I saw the on the Instagram they had Superman ice cream so I'm definitely going to go back. So, I mean, it's just regular tacos. Um, it's hot. I love nothing fat. I'm already making a mess. One thing to turn, two things to show, I'm going to make a mess. After I go to the stove, this, I'm going to come back. Hopefully I remember, Lord. Because I think, um, I mean, even if I can get Superman ice cream to take home, I mean, Superman ice cream. And this is good to know because this is way closer than the food truck part. I mean, the food truck part, not far, but this is literally within a couple of miles from me. And the food truck park is like, not a couple of miles. I don't know how to explain it, but they put their sauce in this little bag. I don't, <laughs> I feel strange. I prefer green sauce, but, um, Red sauce usually be too hot. I can't do spicy. It's hot. <laughs> I'll do just a little bit. Ah! I said a little bit. And it's chicken cubes. I don't usually prefer chicken cubes. Like, and it's a lot of cheese. Some rice. That way that's hot. I literally put a little bit of dapper here. I hate when I get the hiccups.
a lot of trees. It's cool. Not much of mess. And it's exactly why I don't shop here. It's exactly why, because what the fuck is the french fries? When I first moved here, my mama got me some tissue that was so thick, it lasted me literally four months. And I thought I bought the same thing, but the one I got did not last as long. So I'm just like, what did she get me? I literally be acting like I'm not about to get back in the car with the same music when my jam come on. Like, ma'am, you coming back? I don't know where the person went just that fast. And I'm not trying to go back home because once I go home, I'm in until tomorrow. So I'm trying this cauliflower macaroni and I purposely put it in the oven because I wanted it to be kind of like burnt. Kind of like how macaroni really is. So we'll see if it's good. So this cauliflower mac and cheese definitely doesn't give you mac and cheese vibes. It's definitely like broccoli with cheese. I mean, it's still good, but it's just broccoli with cheese.